everybody and welcome back to the last weekly check-in for May. So we have our cash envelopes here and we also have all of our expenses written down on all of our expense trackers from Sarah Marie here. So first off we're going to go ahead and lay all of these down and then check in for the week. So on Monday the 25th which was Memorial Day we went by Walmart and picked up some stuff. All right, so we had that on Memorial Day. Also on that same day, we also did our savings challenge money. So we took 20 from diapers and put it into our savings challenge. And I said last week that I was going to make up for the weeks that I had missed. So in our spending, I also took 20 out for the savings challenge. All right, so there's that one. I also ended up going to Top Shelf and spending $14. It was a very busy day that day. We did a cookout at my sister's and we was running, running, running. All right. And then out of miscellaneous, we also took 24 savings. All right. So there is those for Monday. The next day. So we had this Bilo one here and that was on the 31st. And I went and got me or James and the kids something to drink because we were riding around and we forgot their cups with something to drink. So we got that. On the 30th, I did stop and get me a tea. They had a new flavor come out and I wanted to try. So I picked up just a tea from there. And then lastly, I got gas on the 26th. All right, so there's that. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and add up all of our colors and see how much we spent out of each of our envelopes. So then we're gonna pull out the calculator here. So we have the 25th to the 31st and I wasn't gonna spend anything, but it happens. So we had 20 for the savings, 38, plus 11. So we only spent $69 from groceries and diapers. All right. So last week we had three, 237 minus the 69. So between our two envelopes, we should have 168 remaining. All right. So for groceries, we should have 108. So we have one, five, six, seven, eight. Minus 108. All right, so there's six. These should be left in diapers. And that's what it shows here. So we have 20, 40, 60. Perfect. And we're gonna put all that out to the side and I will let y'all know what we decide to do with that in just a moment. All right, next up, we are going to do my personal spending, which are all the green colors. So we have 14 plus 20 plus eight. So spent 42 for my spending. All right, and last week we had 42, so we should have nothing left. So let's make sure. And there's nothing in there. So that one is gone. All right, we have one gas expense for my car this past week, and it was $23. All right, so spent was 23. And then the following week we had 47, so 47 minus 23. We should have $24 roughly. And I did go and pull out what we had left. Let's see what we had left. 
So we had 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 26. So that's actually $26, which is good. All right, next up is a miscellaneous. Let's see, I think there was one miscellaneous. All right, and that was for $20 for the savings challenge. All right, and last week we had 23, so we should have $3 remaining this week. So here's miscellaneous. And let's check. So we have one, two, and three. So perfect. All right, for unbudgeted, I don't believe we had any this week. No unbudgeted. So we were only negative $19.99 for this month. All right. Now I'm going to pull out my no spin stickers and lay them down. And let's see how many days we had. That was a no spend. And I use Kate Budget stickers here for the no spends. So we had three days this week of no spends. So for the whole month of May, we had a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 days of 31 that we did not spend any money on, which is fabulous. It's almost half, so I'm very proud of ourselves. We did do our May Savings Challenge with the Budget Mom. Let's see what we end up with. So for our May Savings Challenge, we ended up with 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, $100 for savings. So this will go directly with our savings. And this is our online shopping, which is a little bit left to put back into the bank. All right. So that is, oops. So that is our weekly check-in. Let's see. Yep. All right. So with the money that we saved from our envelopes, let's find out how much was in total. All right, so in total for this month, from our cash envelopes, we did not spend 1, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97. A hundred and ninety-seven dollars did not get spent from our envelopes, and we ended up saving a hundred on our savings challenge here. So we did very good because all of this money came from our cash envelopes and for us to have this much left over i am very excited to add this to either sinking funds or into savings whatever it may be so we're going to go ahead and take this out and decide what to do with it so that's 297 dollars saved so, look at all that. That is amazing. Amazing. I'm so excited. I think I'm going to add all of these fives and ones to my fives and ones jar and save them in there. So, let me go ahead and pull those out. So, here's my ones. So, we're going to add all of these ones into here. There we go. We got lots of ones. And then the fives. And these are just some jars I had laying around my house. So we're going to add all of these fives into the $5 jar. And just keep saving those. That works. So we're going to take the 1, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 50, 60. The 260 that's left here. And I believe we're going to just go ahead and put it with our savings. So for the month of May, let's see how much we totally saved between the paychecks, what was left over, and what was left over from our envelopes. So we have tens. All 
All right, so for the month of May, let's see. We have 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, that's 900, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 85, 90, 95, a thousand dollars rather y'all. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. So $1,046 was saved for the entire month of May. And most of it was from our extra from our paychecks, which is good. But a lot of it came from what was left over from our sinking fund or our um, groceries and cash envelopes here. So this is going to go and get deposited back into our savings account so we can build that up some more. But I am so excited, y'all. That is amazing. In one month, that's how much money we saved in cash. All right, so that is all that we are doing for this cash for this last weekly check-in video. I hope that y'all like and subscribe to my channel and tell me how much y'all money y'all are able to save in the month of May between extra in your checks or what was left over from your cash envelopes or any extra savings that you had. Just let me know in the comments down below and I will catch y'all in my next video. Bye-bye now.